Whatever is the matter, princess? I, I don't know. I just started crying for no reason. Wait, is that an onion? Princess, were you eating this before you started crying? Yeah. That, no wonder. Onions can make people cry. Really? I didn't know. I never taken a bite out of one before. I was hungry, you see, and I went to the kitchens to get a snack. But Cook was gone, and all I could find was that onion. So I thought if I pretended really, really hard that it would taste like an apple, then it would. But when I took a bite out of it, I started crying, and I thought I must be sad about something, because people cry when they're sad. But I didn't know what I was sad about, and that made me cry even harder. <laughs> and then you guys came in. Who are you? My name is Albert. Uh, my name is Gwendolyn. Albert's a nice name. Princess, what did I tell you about pretending? Pretending is fun, but don't take it too far. Take care, you might wind up with a scar. Her imagination is a little bizarre. See, I got a scar right here on my chin because the other day I was pretending that I was like Jack and the Beanstalk and I had my own special beans and I planted them and they sprouted and grew and I climbed way up into the sky, but it was really only the old oak tree in the garden. And then I fell all the way down and hit the ground really hard and scraped up my hands and knees on a, and hit my chin on a rock. Then Eldrick and my father told me I must be more careful when I'm pretending or I might get seriously injured. Wow. As you can see, the princess has quite the imagination. What kind of things do you like imagining, Albert? I like to imagine that I'm a knight of the square table serving the king and helping protect the people. Albert, now you can check saving a damsel in distress off your list, huh? Yup. Sometimes I like to pretend I'm, to pretend I'm a knight, riding my fierce war horse into battle, or fighting a dragon. But I usually end up breaking something. Albert, er, not Albert, Eldrick and Sir Lapslot have taught me the basics about the absolute truth in sword fighting. Wow, I wish I could learn to use a sword. Yeah, I sure do. <laughs> but speaking of that, Albert, we ought to get back to your training right away. I should like to introduce him to my father first. It won't take long. The Are you king? sure, Your Majesty? The king is a very busy man. Oh, no, 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 he won't mind. He wanted me, Albert, especially since he helped me. I'll go get him. Albert, are you all right? You look white as a blanket. I think you mean white as a sheet. Hello? Anybody home? Albert! It's really happening. I'm going to meet the king. Albert, you must bow respectfully and make sure to call him your majesty. You want to make a good first impression. Don't make him any more nervous than he already is. Albert, just be yourself. You'll do fine. Meet us outside after you're done. OK, I will. Me, Albert. Oh, oh, oh my! Here. Albert, wake up! <gasps> Your Majesty. <laughs> it's a pleasure to meet you, young man. You may rise. I was crying when Sir Lancelot, Eldrick, and Albert found me. Albert figured out right away that it was the onion to help me stop crying. Gwendolyn, what am I going to do with you? Thank you for sa saving my imaginative daughter, Albert. You're welcome, Your Majesty. Albert came here to become a knight of your square table, Father. He just arrived at the castle today. Ah, well, you are welcome. Knighthood is a great honor. My knights, uh, I trust them to protect the kingdom and to stay in their trust of what they should do. And I just think it's a great thing what you're doing, Albert. Good for you, young man. Thank you, Your Majesty. Uh, I assume that Eldrick and Sir Lapsalot are training you? Yes. Uh, I couldn't ask for two better men. I'm curious to see how the, work, the Lord will work in your life, Albert. Well, I have a lot of duties to attend, so I'll be back. But we ride in about two days to uh, help some troubled noblemen. I'll see you off then. No more munching on some onions. I won't make that mistake again, Father. I'm still very hungry, so I'm going to go to the kitchens to see if there's any real apples. Um, can you find your way outside, OK? Yes, I believe so. Well, see you soon then. Thank you. Hello there, Albert. Oh, I didn't see you there, Your Grace. Uh, the princess is a very charming and creative young lady, isn't she? I guess you could say that. And uh, the king, I was just passing by. I saw you speaking with him. Yes, Your Grace. The princess wanted to introduce me to him. Wow, how exciting. That was very thoughtful of the king to take time out of his busy day to meet with you. 
Yes, he told me he's going to settle a disagreement of some sort in two days. Did he say where? No, Your Grace. Uh, would you be able to find out for me, Albert? I'm not sure. Well, you see, I'm planning a, a banquet um, for the king and all of the nobles, and it would be helpful to know where he's going so that I'll know how long it takes to get there and when he'll be back so I know when to plan the banquet. I understand now. I'll ask the princess. That would be wonderful, Albert. Thank you. I won't forget this. You're welcome, Your Grace. Eldrick, Sir Lapsalot, I'm back. <laughs> What's the matter, George? It's just me. How are you, boy? Albert, how did it go with the king? Were you nervous? Hey, that reminds me of one of my all wonderful jokes. Which of the king's knights? Never doubted himself. I don't know. Certain. Get it? Certain. Certain. I think Albert and George have had enough of your jokes tonight. You're right. I could use some more material. Maybe Sir Percival can help. Albert, I have a gift for you. Oh, what is this? This is the book of, I mean, this is the belt of truth. Thank you. The belt of truth is part of the spiritual armor that God has given us to defend against the attack of Satan. Can't get it on. And how does it help us? Let me show you how to become the child of God, Albert. Come sit down. See, sin separates us from the, um, God and his kingdom. But God sent his only son, Jesus, to come down to earth and to die on the cross for us, creating a way for us to spend eternity with him in heaven. Would you like to become a child of God, Albert? Yes, I would. After today, I have a lot to think about. And when you think about that, make sure you study the book of truth. Speaking of the Book of Truth, I left it right here. Have you seen it? Last time I saw it was when I gave it to you, Albert. Hmm, that's strange. Hi, Albert. Albert, where is it? <laughs> Hi, boy. Did you miss me? Where is it? Here, you want a treat? You want it? What's the matter, Albert? The Book of Truth. It's gone. Hmm. Well, I haven't seen it. I think I know where it is. Wait, wait, Albert, I can help! Albert, wait! We should try retracing your steps. 